If you work in an office in the summertime, mm, I feel for you. It is definitely a challenge. But in this video, I'm gonna share some simple do's and don'ts so that you can really nail those summer office outfits. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about summer office outfits. Dressing for the office in the summertime can be very challenging, especially when you live in a really hot climate because it is so hot outside, the last thing you wanna do is wear layers, the last thing you wanna do is wear closed toe shoes, the last thing you wanna do is put on pants that, that don't have any forgiveness in, this, in the waist. You want to dress like an easy breezy way because it is so hot outside. So how do you dress in a way that's chic and sophisticated, but also keeps you cool? We talked about that pretty extensively in a video I did about how to dress in the heat. But in this one, I wanna focus more on the office because the office is a little bit different. Yes, no matter what, you wanna look sophisticated and chic, but in the office, it's more of a requirement. It is important to look your best in the office. The first do is do wear suits. I know, you're like, mm suit in the summer? I don't think so. I think suits right now, more than ever, maybe back in the late 90s, suits were this popular. I think that was the last time because I remember having tons of suits. But suits are back in a big, big, big way. Suits are a couple things. First, they're on trend, right? But they're always in for the office, let's face it. It's a very professional look. It's a very polished look. You've got a big meeting. You want to get a promotion. You want to ask for a promotion. You want to be taken more seriously. You want your voice to be heard. Like, power suit is the way to go. So in the fall all winter, you're gonna bust out your black or your navy and your pinstripe or your charcoal, whatever. In the summer, go for a lighter colored suit, okay? Lighter colors, in general, will keep you cooler because they reflect the sun. So the lighter colors are also more springy, more summery, and also the fabric choice is important, right? Because you don't wanna wear a wool suit in the summer. Wear something that's cotton, linen, a blend, just something that will breathe. By the way, huge thank you to Express for sponsoring this video. If you guys are regular watchers, you know I work with Express quite a bit. I'm a big fan. Been shopping in Express and been buying suits from Express since I was in my early 20s, which is like now a couple of decades. It's a long time. Let's take a look at a suit that is white. We'll talk more about white in a minute. The beautiful thing about Express suits is that the pants come in short, regular, tall, and even petite. So you can order the silhouette or the cut and the length that is perfect for you because there's nothing more frustrating than buying this fabulous suit and then having to take it to the tailor and deal with that. It's another whole two weeks on the process and all you do we'll really want to do is wear your suit, right? This suit is from the Conscious Collection from Express. Express has pledged that by 2026, 20% of their fabrics will be consciously sourced, 75% of the denim will be using conscious materials, and 50 million gallons of water will be saved. That's their pledge for towards sustainability. Sustainability is something that myself and the rest of the Busby team are definitely committed to and we're excited about. And you're gonna see and notice more of that over on the website, on Instagram, here on YouTube, talking a lot more about sustainability fabrics that are recycled, fabrics made from plants that are eco-friendly. There's even recycled threads. There's all types of ways that your clothing choices can be more environmentally friendly or sustainable. So this suit is part of that conscious collection I mentioned, and the fabric is 70% plant-based, which I think is so cool. So these bootcut pants and the blazer both from that conscious collection. I love this blazer. I love a double-breasted blazer. This one is a longer length, which I really love too. It's more on trend. It's a little bit of a seasonal twist and it's also very affordable. The pants the same. These are a little long on me. I probably could have gone the shorter petite, but I wanted to do regular length because I wanted a little extra length to wear heels. So if you want to wear flats, just pay attention to the inseam length. That's where you're going to know, okay, I'm going to be able to wear these with flats with sneakers, with heels, whatever. So I wanted to be able to wear them with heels and that's why I got the regular length and I'm 5'4 for reference. So for me, if I wanna wear a heel, I usually look for a 32 inch inseam, maybe 33, but that would be a really high heel for me. And if I wanna wear with flats, that'd be more like a 29, 30 inch inseam. So just pay attention to those numbers. It'll help you a lot 
to save time later so you don't have to go to the tailor and deal with that. This is such an elegant look. It's such a polished look. It's such a summery, fresh look. This would be beautiful to wear to the office and then go to something after work. You know, a lot of desk to dinner things going on, especially in the summer. And I just think it's just so beautiful. The other thing that's great about the fabric, besides the fact that it's 70% plant-based, is that it has some stretch. The jacket is stretchy, the pants are stretchy, the waistband is stretchy. It's forgiving. As we've like inched closer to those jeans and those pants that are less forgiving, I'm really appreciating the stretch. So we will put links to all of the looks that we're featuring in this video, the summer office outfits in the description box below, which is below every single video. Just click on that little arrow below the video and you will find it, it will expand. We talked about do wear suits, the do, what is the don't? The don't is don't dress too casually. No ripped up jeans. I wouldn't even go with faded jeans unless you're in a super casual office. No like muscle tees. You just have to think that this is still a place of work and you still wanna make a good impression and you still wanna be taken seriously. And so dressing is an important piece of that. So making sure that you don't dress too casually. So that would be the don't to the do. The next do, some of you are gonna be like, no, is do wear white. Every time I bring up white, we get comments. But I can't, it stains, it's so hard to take care of. It's so beautiful and feminine and gorgeous. And if you don't dry it, you're gonna be fine. Unless you spill like spaghetti sauce all over it and then eh, it's probably not gonna work. It's worth it, the white is worth it. Even if it's just a white blazer with jeans, oh, it's such a nice look for the summer. Do wear white. And what's the don't here? The don't is don't dress like Morticia every single day in the black from head to toe. It's summer. Make sure you do try white, neutrals, blushes, other colors that are not so heavy and dark. It's just really nice. So I just showed you the suit, the all white suit, and that's a perfect example of how to wear white to the office in the summer in such a beautiful, polished, sophisticated way. And I think that if you take that little extra care and caution, you can keep your whites bright and beautiful and not you know, totally destroy them. We're gonna talk a little bit more about color in just a minute because the third tip is do wear color. If ever there was a moment in time to wear color, besides the 80s, it's right now. Color is huge, saturated colors, crazy wild bold prints, pastel colors, all kinds of neutrals. Color, 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 color is very in. Even neon colors like we saw in the 80s. If you love color, this is your moment. Shine, like bust it out. Wear the color blocked outfit. Remember the video I did where I mimicked what Sarah Jessica Parker wore and I had a bright pink sweater and bright red pants, like that kind of look. Color blocked color, I love it, it's so beautiful. And so cool, right, modern? If you're not loving color in general, if color is a little bit scary for you, I do have like this fail safe guideline that you can follow which is wear one color and keep everything else neutral and quiet. So if you wear a brightly colored top, you keep everything else pretty neutral, like blue jeans, white jeans, neutral color pants, Here's an example of some color. This is a printed pleated skirt from Express. I love this print. It's so summery and fresh. It feels like, you know, you're just like the epitome of summer when you wear this skirt. I did notice that the liner is a little bit tight. And so what I did was I just cut the liner. And you could go and have your tailor like professionally cut and sew the edges. I just cut it because no one sees a liner. I was totally fine with that. So I paired that with just a simple like bra tank that's cropped because with a pleated skirt, one of the challenges, same with these trousers by the way, is you don't have a lot of room to tuck. If you tuck with pleating, it will add a lot of bulk right here, which is no bueno. So you gotta wear something that's cropped or very paper thin lightweight. So this is just like, I have it on underneath right here. It's a like a bra top bra cami, which I love by the way. I've been wearing them all the time in lieu of a bra because it just feels so much more free and good. And then just throw a blazer over that. Such a beautiful, easy outfit. I think one of the reasons why many of you may shy away from skirts is because it creates kind of an issue because you're, you're, you have to figure out what to wear with it. Don't overthink it. Like you can always just do something simple like a camisole, a tank, a tee even under the blazer. 
and you're ready to go. And you know when you step foot in the office, it could be 100 degrees outside, but you step foot in the office and it's freezing, freezing cold. So you're gonna need that blazer anyway. So this is just a really elegant way to wear color. You notice that you've got the print in the skirt and then everything else is neutral quiet because you're wearing white. That's as neutral as it gets, right? That's my rule when you're not really sure how to wear color or you don't feel super comfortable wearing color. That's a great introductory way to wear color. And it's also just a great style guideline in general. And the don't is again, just wear dark navies, blacks all the time. Like make sure you're taking advantage of this moment in time and in fashion where color is so in. Color can just brighten up your face. It can attract attention. It can lighten your own mood. Like you can become sunnier because you're wearing a bright lemon yellow. If I wear this color, for example, like lemon yellow, I'm like, oh, I just, it just like, I just love it. I just feel so happy. Same with pink. Oh, you guys know I love pink. I wear pink. It's like my whole mood changes. Just play around with some color. You don't have to go all in. Do the one color rule, like just one piece, one color, keep everything else neutral quiet. Number four, do wear prints. So I just showed you a printed skirt, but I want to show you another option and it's a printed dress. We love to wear dresses in the summertime. They're one and done. They're super elegant. They're super easy. They're breathable. You know, the skirts flow and move in the breeze, but sometimes we can shy away from that summer dress to the office because it feels too, I don't know, beachy or whatever. But all you have to do with that summertime dress is throw a blazer over it. That's it or a leather jacket, if you have a lightweight leather jacket, all of a sudden that breezy summer maxi turns into something that's great for the office. And the beauty of that dress is after the office, so if you wanna mm -mm, go dancing or whatever, go girls night out, date night with the partner or spouse, you're ready. You just shed the blazer and Bam, ready to dance and twirl and have a good time. I love this dress so much. Isn't it so pretty? I love the print. I love the top. I don't have a bra on. I don't think you need one because of the thickness of the fabric on top and it really does hold you in. This dress is pretty long, okay? That's the only thing. I wish it were just like this much shorter for the office. Remember the dress I featured recently? It's a one shoulder dress. That was a more of a T length or an ankle length dress. That would be more of an appropriate length, I think, for the office. I think this printed maxi is a little bit too long for the office, but if you're taller, remember, I'm only 5'4". If you're taller, it could be absolutely perfect for you because it does run long. So it's a great dress, just a beautiful dress anyway, but if you want to wear your summery beachy maxis to the office, add the structure, add the tailoring with a tailored blazer, and then you are ready to go. The don't would be don't go overboard with prints. Like, unless you work at an art gallery, you're probably not gonna wear like a Pucci-esque printed suit. I just would like tone it down a little bit for the office. You don't wanna go full blown print. Be sure to stick around all the way to the end because I wanna go through some of the other don'ts for the office in the summertime. And I have a, a story that I wanted to share with you about when I was working in corporate America and had to have a little conversation with an intern about summer dressing. Do wear jeans. I know that some offices only do casual Fridays, which is totally fine if it's just one day a week, but take advantage of that. Maybe you can do it more because jeans can look incredibly chic and, and maybe even more chic than pants in a lot of cases. So here's an example. It's that same white blazer from Express, the double-breasted blazer. I love this long line length. I paired it with some high-rise jeans that have a wide leg. These jeans, by the way, are a four short. So I got a shorter length so I could wear a smaller heel. I got a four because I thought that that would give me a little wiggle room. And remember, I have talked about sizing up with your white jeans, but I would actually recommend that you size down with this particular pair because they are quite stretchy. So I really had wished that I got a two short instead of a for sure, because I can tell that they're, you know, they're a little big in the waist and I can tell they're gonna stretch out a little bit. So size down on these, but they are really cool jeans. And again, you can get whatever inseam length that you need, or even two different inseam lengths if you wanna get one for heels and one for flats, which I do a lot. Let's do a side-by-side -side of the white blazer with the white jeans and the white blazer with the white pants. They both look great, right? They both look chic, they both look sophisticated. I think the key with jeans is you want to go with a pair that's either dark wash, like a dark blue, or a white. Not a faded, a whisker, whiskered, a distressed. You know, you want to keep it classic in one of those two colors, either the dark blue with little fading or whiskering and no distressing or the white. Those are the two that I would wear to the office that I think put your best put foot forward 
and look the most polished. Some other don'ts I want to talk about. These are kind of obvious, I think, but it's just worth repeating. Don't wear clothes that are too tight, like no bodycon dresses or tank dresses to the office. Unless, you know, the tank dress, you throw the blazer over it and you really, you're slim and you look good and maybe you can get away with it, but it's, it's risky. So I would stay away from really tight fitting dresses. I would definitely stay away from really short dresses. I think that's not a good look for the office. Same with shorts, like unless they're Bermudas that go to the knee, I wouldn't really wear shorts to the office. Again, there are exceptions. You may have a really casual office. No one cares. If you are in a more conservative office, I think shorts or short skirts are a definite no. Nothing that's too wrinkly, dirty, damaged. Your white isn't quite white. You've got pit stains. All that stuff is no, 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 no. Also, you want to make sure the length of your pants is right. I've talked about that before in a video. I can't quite remember the title. Put a link to that video in the description box below and up here in the cards, you guys can reference it. Another quick thing to remember is that it's so much easier to get dressed at the office in the summertime if you have your summer basics. We did create a capsule wardrobe for summertime that you get when you sign up for our email newsletter, which we put a link to in the description box below. I just think it's important to have those solid basic pieces so that when you do add a fun print or a great bold color, you have the foundational pieces or their neutral quiet pieces to wear with them. So that's something to keep in mind. And now for the story. When I was working in corporate America, if you can consider TV news corporate America, it's more like its own thing. I got called into the office, the news director's office one day, and she's like, you have to talk to your intern about the way she's dressed. And it was summertime, and she had on a really short, tight dress. I mean, she's adorable, and but it really stood out in this very professional environment. So I had to pull her aside, and I just said, why don't we call it a day? I think you need to go home and change the outfit that you're wearing isn't totally appropriate for the office and her face changed and I could tell it was like oh it's so cringy you know like she's feeling super embarrassed and in kind of a shame storm so just like don't worry about it it's no big deal it's just me that noticed no one else noticed all you need to do is just cut out of here and just remember for for tomorrow like come back and just wear longer dresses and then you'll be fine. You don't want to be in that position where someone is pulling you aside and telling you, um, you need to go home and change your clothes. I had to do that another time with a reporter who had a top that was too low cut. So do wear suits, do wear white, do wear color, do wear prints, do wear jeans, and don't forget you can also wear those summertime dresses. You know what I would love to know? I would love to know if you work in an office, what do you do? Would you share your first name and then what you do? You don't have to be really specific. I just think it'd be so interesting to hear like what your professions are. I've gotten a lot of emails over the years from different viewers and there's doctors and there's psychiatrists and there's nurses and all all different types of teach a lot of teachers but I would love to hear what you all do if you if you don't mind can you just put your first name and then what you do what your profession is I would just love to read those so thanks so much I hope you'll share them and don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. share my channel with a friend I will see you guys next time I hope this was helpful let us know if you have questions just comment below bye bye